Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Most people may know our guest as the man behind the publishing powerhouse, Rolling Out Magazine. And now he's exploring the children's book world and is on a mission to inspire little girls everywhere of every hue. Please welcome Munson Hugh Steed. How are you? Hey, thanks for having me. I'm great. Yeah. Yeah. You look amazing. You do. Uh, thank you so much. You smell ladies. good too. No, when I hugged you, I was like, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so wait a minute. Oh, That's for so holiday fragrance out. Media powerhouse. Yes. My it's God. Been, it's been a wonderful ride. Thank God for the African American community, mm -hmm. all of you talented young ladies that make what we do special at Rolling yeah. Out. Yeah. When, when you started out with, uh, with Rolling Out, it was one of the largest African American um, weekly magazines. Did you know it was ever going to be this big? I did. Atlanta was definitely the powerhouse. It came out at the same time as Outkast, Usher, mm -hmm. and everybody else, the face records had got here. And they weren't putting African Americans on newsprint at that right. moment. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden we had that opportunity of rolling out to highlight it. And it was a phenomenal era. And Atlanta is that mega watts for all people. We are the mecca. So for us at rolling out, we make sure that's the case. Yeah. That we're giving the best case practices of how to be great African Americans and experience our genius. Yes. Right then. And, and like you said, you, you, you were there when, when the face was big and prominent here in Atlanta. That was about 20 years ago. 20 years yes. ago. Yes, so how has your vision grown since then? You know, you have to constantly evolve. A part of everything that we do at Rolling Out is about innovation. Mm. So if you're not innovating, then you miss. So we're a big digital network, so I saw a lot of digital traffic at this moment. We do a lot of activations and innovations, conferences. So you have to continue to evolve as an entrepreneur. And you have an app as well, Rolling Out We got a hot new app with All allow right. individuals to be able to be uh, their own reporter. Oh, they'll nice. actually be able to go live for us instead of just for others. So it's an exciting moment. I mean, we'll be a tech company instead of just rolling out magazines, just be rolling out the brand. So wow. anywhere you fit as an entrepreneur, as a business person, as an innovator, that's what we do at Rolling Out. So when they're when they are logging on to the app to conduct those interviews, are you actually employing them? Well, I wouldn't say that we're employing them. We're allowing them to be what they are on all yeah. other social media mm -hmm. platforms uh, to actually give the authentic mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a cultural connectivity that we want to make sure we keep with our audience. We'll be able to have two-way dialogue. So right now, you know, you can't actually they post online. They can't necessarily have one-to-one -one conversation, but we'll be able to have that conversation. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's so exciting. We've been. And, uh, on your IG, of course, uh, and you've talked about tourism trap. Express that. What exactly does that mean? Economic opportunity, economic revenue, what's happening there? I think it's just any type of economic proposition that entrepreneurs need to see the opportunity. Mm -hmm. If you think about T.I. and his actual trap museum, that's a phenomenal example mm -hmm. for young individuals to think about how to go in a community, people come to Atlanta and want to go to the trap museum, or mm -hmm. for our friends who are over there at 2 Chains and you do yeah. the trap house, then it's one more reason. So when you think about the Martin Luther King, number one destination for African Americans, we should be thinking about how to put our economic traps around those locations because people are going there. So I don't want our young people to see tourism is not anything that just let's go someplace. No, you be, need to think about how you grow your economics mm -hmm. based on tourism. We can't yes. just do, be consumers. We must be those individuals that are interested in commerce. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Monson is just after my uh, heart on this stuff. Uh, just I'm loving it. I'm no. loving it. Yes. So uh, let's, let's, let's talk about uh, your new foray. So in 2016, you wrote your first children's book, uh, Little Professor Sky. Favorite thing. Favorite yes. thing. So when did you decide to write children's books? You know, I, I really was inspired by my godchild and, and my love, uh, Sky. Mm -hmm. And I thought about it, and they had Dr. McSuffin, and she wasn't really real. And I wanted to make sure mm -hmm. that there was a real child, and I wanted our relationship to be permanently encased. And I thought about technology. So in the book, Sky's father actually creates a robot for her to learn. I wanted parents to think about distance learning. I wanted them to see leadership. I wanted them to see STEM. I wanted them to see mm -hmm. black girl magic. I wanted mm -hmm. them to see her hair. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to see the dynamics of what little Professor Sky is, and that we ha all have little Professor Skies yes. growing at home. That's right. M Monson, why is it so important? I mean, you are behind a number of initiatives, but why is it so important that you thrust yourself behind young African American women, young girls? Well, I think young girls have to have relationships with positive male images, so mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure mm -hmm. I was yes. there for sure. And that's part of the book. Sky has a relationship with her father, but she also has a relationship to being great. She also has a relationship to being uh, a leader. So for me, if she's yeah. there, the innovation that has to happen for our children has to be in technology. She has to see herself being in STEM. And that's what this whole, there's a robot created for her. So I think that's important for Little Professor Scott and for all the Little Professor Scotts that are growing. 
it's an important moment for us in history that our children see themselves as geniuses mm -hmm. and that's there. Mm -hmm. She's proud of her hair, so you'll see the girl and she identifies in the authentic African-American black girl magic that I see her here yes. and obviously I see here. Yeah, okay, and so this is your latest one, Little Professor Sky, Favorite Things. So give us a journey on what, what you want the kids to take away from this. Well, Favorite Things is a, a book that takes her through our entire day. Mm -hmm. Her and her lo robot learn. So we also have President Obama in there. We also have the reason she's in a lab. So she talks about things like what's her theory, what it is to be a mathematician, why she enjoys math, why she enjoys piano, why she enjoys dance, why she enjoys going to college. All of these things are things that we want our young girls girls to know and be excited about. But we also have Adam Smart, which is another one of the Leon brands, who's all about science, who's all about discovering planets. So it's really important for us. And our latest book, obviously, is The Plush Crew. So it's an ABC's, Alphabet Safari. And all of these things teach our children. I'm committed to making sure the next generation has as much love, can see themselves, can be proud about their mm -hmm. heritage, can be proud about their genius, and understand that they're geniuses that haven't been discovered unless we showcase that yes. it's in you. I want all our children to know it's in them. Munson, you are an inspiration to all, but this is the little girl who inspires you. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this guy, she, she inspired your book series. She did. Yes. This is my baby girl. Welcome, beautiful. Sky. Yes. Thank you. You are Aren't beautiful. Aren't you just proud of him? Yes. Okay. Yes, you've learned a lot from him, haven't you? <laughs> oh, Absolutely. thank you both so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having us. You know, so you can have so much more information on the book so series, or you can purchase and go to littleprofessorsky.com. Thank you.